G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. Happy Sunday. So, um, tomorrow's a members video, but Tuesday will be an animals video. I'm going to show you all my animals. Um, requested by Anonymous, um, one of my members. So, um, I, I'm sorry Anonymous. I did read your comment a couple of weeks ago about doing it, but my mind slips sometimes. Um, you got to uh, let me let me off for that one but um so i sold a fish for dogecoin um it went through well the the dogecoin hasn't gone through but the deal has been settled um, um i wasn't joking people actually thought it was a typo because i put the fish up so cheap but i was dead serious guys um i don't really want to talk about my financials but the last three days two days i'm not trading today Tip of advice guys, never trade Sundays. Um, so, even on Saturdays, only trade in the mornings because that's when New York Friday is. And then when New York Friday closes, um, shut your trades down. Don't trade Saturday afternoons or Sundays. And that's only if you're in Australia. If you're not in Australia, um, your time zones will be different so you figure it out. Um, but anyway, I saw the, one of the main reasons was the last two days, um, in my trading account, I am up like 140%. Um, my total account is basically at zero. We had a 20, we've had like a 15% correction or something, and I've managed to stay at zero my, my entire account. So if you understand, that's a big deal um, to like your holding account to be compensated by your trading account and to even win during a crash um, and I was only trading longs if anybody understands that during the price going down I was only trading longs and I've won seven trades um, I'm pretty proud of that to be honest um, so let's talk about a project I want to do in case you haven't noticed by me selling a fish for um, approximately $25 US that is like a $200 fish um, I'm in a bit of a goofy mood, um, I actually haven't taken many painkillers so it's not that, it's just maybe sleep deprivation because I haven't slept properly for three weeks, Is it? no it's only, it's only two weeks, I've still got four weeks to go till I can ride my bike, um, but anyway I've got a really cool project so let's get through the intro and I'll show you the project. Alright, so everyone on this channel knows that I like building Frankenstein fish tanks. I've got, sorry, is it plane? How you going? Where is it? Oh, there's a heli. I just said plane. That's clearly a helicopter. Um, Alright, so I've got all these pieces of glass. They are literally brand new. Um, and I've also got some same size as these floating around the yard. Because when I bought 12 fish tanks, they actually came with the pieces to make side drop filters and I'm not a fan of side drop filters so I never use them um, I know my, a lot of people are a fan my sole reason for not being a fan is they're really hard to clean um, I would prefer filters that you can lift out of the tank so that's why I go for the plastic boxes um, but anyway I'm thinking about making a fish tank out of these I'm talking the most Franken tank I've ever done. Um, not just like joining them together and making like a one foot cube. I'm, I mean like um, gluing three pieces together to make a base, gluing three pieces together to make a back, gluing three pieces together to make a front, and then gluing the ends on. Um, strapping the joints and all that jazz and just having the most ridiculous tank you've ever seen and then I don't have anywhere to put it, but I might give it away. Like, it's going to be the ugliest thing you've ever seen, and it would be a fun bit of content. And then at the end, I don't want the con. I don't just want to make it for content and throw it in the bin. I'll give it to one of you guys. You, one of you guys can have it. Um, obviously, clearly, only ever going to be a breeding tank. Um, I'll have to give it away to somebody who doesn't have much anxiety because I know that. 50% of the people that watch this channel probably wouldn't have this in their house or their shed because 
they'll, they'll be too worried that it's going to blow apart. But I'm still going to do it. I'm going to build it and then I'm going to find somebody that is happy to have it in their house. I might even whip up a stand for it and like give it to somebody for free with a stand. So let me know what you think of that idea. Um, as you guys know, my fish room is pretty much completely finished. Um, so you know all the projects you see. I'm at the point where I don't have projects to do in the fish room. So we need to come up with some new projects. And um, I like I just like giving people shit. Like like the flower horn for example. Let's go have a look at the flower horn. <laughs> Alright guys, so I gave this fish away. Well not gave it away. I sold it for a hundred dogecoin. Um, at the time of sale dogecoin was going for 25 cents US. Um, so effectively I sold it for $25 US. Um, the post was pretty funny. Like some people were like, oh, you've, you've made a mistake and should it be $250? Um, hundred Dogecoin only works out to $25. Um, but no, I'm, I was legitimately giving it away or selling it for 25 Dogecoin. Um, the only clause is I told the guy he has to feature on camera. So I will actually be having a bit of a discussion about this when um, when he comes. Obviously WA is in lockdown so he can't actually pick up the fish until the lockdown is over. I'm probably going to have to wear masks for the video and all that jazz. jazz. Um, but let's have, a, let's have a talk about him while we're here. Um, so He's not the highest quality fish I've bred. Um, this guy's probably a little bit higher quality, but um, he has really nice trailing fins. His his back his tail is quite fanned out. Um, obviously not as fanned as a camphor. Um, one of my goals is to breed bigger fans in the tails. The, my key point about this guy that I absolutely love is his lips. Um, they're not as flush as a camphor, but He's got cool lips. They stand out to me um, way more than, so like, see, see the overbite on this guy here? See how it's like way more than this guy? So that his lips stand out to me really strong. Um, he hasn't, he's not showing much of a cock yet, but uh, it's, it doesn't help when he's got like a 25 centimeter boy next to him. Um, What else? What else do we have to chat about him? His eyes are fairly sunken, not too bad. He, he, he's got a really solid script. You guys, um, if you have noticed, like one trait that my flower horns carry quite well is the solid scripting. Um, I wish he had more head coverage, but as you guys know, that's a problem I am battling with my entire line of flower horns, and that's why. Richard, I'm trying to use him as my main breeder because he's actually got full head coverage and that's the that's the main trait I'm kind of chasing from him. Um, he does lack cock size but the girl I'm using has like a really good monster cock gene and also um, well he does as well because Charles had a monster cock. Um, she has fat boy in her so if you know fat boy They've got a monster cock, so their fry should be amazing. Um, I got sidetracked there, but we were talking about this fish. Um, his his red coverage goes fair back, fair way back on his body. Um, these guys are just on extreme. Uh, if the new owner was to feed him a bit of um, the blood parrot red by Hikari, he'll definitely show way more red than he is now. Um, I don't really like. Um, feeding the red enhancers when I'm selling fish because if then say like the fish the new owner buys the fish and the red drops um, then I don't want to be in the bad books for selling a fish that was more red and the color drops when they buy them I would rather sell the fish like this and then tell the person if they want to spend a bit of extra money to feed the Hikari blood parrot red and um, then the red gets even better once they buy the fish. So that's kind of my reasoning for not feeding a red enhancer. 
Um, I kind of want to get a. I kind of want to feed a red enhancer to Richard, just because he's my own fish. I'm not selling him, um, but I I don't have any at the moment. Look at him. I I love this fish. He's my favourite fish I've bred. Um, I know he doesn't have a big cock, and he and he. There's a few things about him that aren't amazing, but he's my pet. He's cool. I just for like even though like um like this boy here is actually like a higher quality fish than Richard in a, in a way. Like there's something about him. I think maybe like the nostalgia of the fact that he looks a lot like the old vampires that aren't around anymore. I don't know. He's just he's my pet. He's cool. Um but I actually, I think this boy might actually turn out real nice. Uh, this is the boy that I've been breeding. Um, so like, A, I've been breeding him really young and B, I bred him a lot. I bred him three times in six weeks. So um, he's, he's, he looks a bit deflated and um, he looks a bit stressed and that's, that's literally <laughs> because I overworked him. So he's on the back burner for a a while I don't know if I'll actually ever breed him again I might sell him as a guaranteed breeder once he um, improves a bit um, the guy coming to pick this guy up is really chasing a girl but I just I don't have a I don't have a girl handy um, oh, there's a girl here but I, she's just not nice enough quality for me to sell also, that girl's F2. I didn't really ever want to sell an F2. That, that's literally the only girl in this tank. <laughs> but can you see, she doesn't have much red. And in the girls, like one of the main things I look for is full red coverage. So, nah, I definitely wouldn't sell her. I, I really don't want to let any even medium quality fish get out the door um, so so to me this boy I would say his um, like how do, how do I put it like he's not medium quality but he's not high quality um, this is his that so this is these boys here and this one they're pretty much like um, as low as I would go in quality for selling. And if you if you pay attention to the flower horn markets, my version of the lowest quality I I would sell is still better than 80% of the flower horns on the market. So d when I say it's the lowest I would sell, please don't think that I'm selling a low quality fish. If that makes sense. I think this guy, if he gets in his own tank, not next to a big boy, he'll be a ripper. But anyway, I'll, I'll let you guys know when the when old mate comes to pick it up. Unfortunately, we're in lockdown, so that's not right now. Let me know what you think of the the joined tank idea. Um, it would literally be like one, well, three, six, nine, ten, eleven pieces of glass all joined together. I don't know if I've got eleven pieces there. So, um, but anyway, so let I, I'm going to need some encouragement for this one. So you got to let me know in the comments. Um, some pieces are already, one piece is already drilled, so I might use that as the top and it's already drilled for water changes. But the only thing with that, if I am giving it away, the person might not want a hole in it. I don't know. I'll work out what pieces of glass I have. Maybe I use like all the fresh new pieces for the front and the sides and the back. And then I've got some second hand glass I could just make a base out of. I don't know. I'm also curious to see how well it will hold guys like um, all the pieces together I will put some solid strapping in it gonna have to find some glass for that um, and just see if it holds water actually I tell a lot I'm not curious whether it will hold water or not I know that it will hold water once I've built it but um, yeah just let me know what you think of the series if you like this video guys give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe for more hit that little red button I'll see the members tomorrow in the members video. Peace out.